Let's bring in Deirdre Bosa with more in today's Tech Check. Deirdre. Kelly, you're referring to that Johnny Ive profile in the New York Times over the weekend. In it, there was tons of fascinating tidbits from Ive's personal reinvention after leaving Apple to his real estate shopping spree and his budding partnership with who else? Sam Altman. Now, Ive confirmed to the Times that he is working on a new device with the OpenAI CEO and could raise up to a billion dollars in funding by the end of the year. Now, it underscores this notion that Altman is one of the most powerful people in tech at the moment, cutting deals with mega caps to tap into their massive distribution channels, while at the same time building products that compete with them. Take Apple. Altman cut a deal to put ChatGPT on the iPhone, but the collaboration with Ive, that could potentially be an iPhone killer. That is a new computing device made for and in the age of generative AI. In a similar vein, Altman received billions of dollars from Microsoft to grow OpenAI while building an enterprise AI offering that could eventually compete with Microsoft's. Key word here, of course, Kelly, is eventually. There's still a long way to go. The incumbents are very well capitalized. They're cutting deals of their own to stay ahead, like the take-unders designed to gain talent and skirt regulatory scrutiny. But if it wasn't already clear, Altman is a kingmaker in the space. His reach and influence is only set to grow as OpenAI nears the closing of its latest $6.5 billion funding round, which would be the largest VC round of all time. Be sure to check out the latest in our digital series, where we argue that Altman and OpenAI's next chapter will be the most important. The stakes are only getting higher. As we've seen, though, Altman, not without his detractors, that dramatic ousting and reinstatement at OpenAI. Kelly, that was still less than a year ago, but... Man, he's done a lot. In I'm that year. shocked that they're raising this much for a business model that is still not. A, I mean, how much money do they lose on every query at this point? I don't know how much they lose on each query, but revenue is said to be somewhere in the two and three billion dollars annually for, yes, a company that could be valued at one hundred and fifty billion dollars or more. Those numbers are ridiculous. But I mean, <laughs> those numbers VCs are willing to look past because it's got the deal with Apple that's going to be coming online. You know, you're going to be able to access ChatGPT from the iPhone. So the idea is that it's in perfect placement for that revenue to just increase. But it's going to have to increase a lot to justify that kind of valuation. It would, it would still be crazy if he inked a deal with Apple to power Siri while developing a rival to the iPhone. Exactly. <laughs> This is like the mystery and sort of the touch of Sam Altman that he's able to do all of these things at the same time. He's going to be learning from Apple, you would think, right, by doing this deal. And then yeah. he could potentially use that information to compete with Apple. Unless it jeopardizes, you know, now I'm thinking through this like a, like a drama. He jeopardizes the deal and then the deal falls through, but then the phone doesn't work. And anyway, uh, they it's have a constant balance. Right. And we know that about Sam Altman. He takes bold moves and. Maybe a lot of risk along the way. With a big war chest, nevertheless, to do so. Exactly. Deirdre, thanks. <laughs> Deirdre thanks. Bosa.